My trade and craft skills have been hugely useful in getting me through seven years of university. I'm an architect, uh, technical based, as well as front-end design work, um, but really specialise in the maitre d'oeuvre end of things rather than the pretty concept pictures. Design technology teaching projects need a stages of making sheet, a bit like assembly instructions that you might get with a product that you buy if all abilities of learners are able to fully participate. I should warn you that I tend to drive long distances and work with no radio. But I love music. It tends to come back to me and speak to me, tell me in advance what task needs doing in what way sometimes, and just keep me company. I was to have a little tussle with authority at a subsequent season. By that time, the Marie, the mayor of the most nearby village down in the valley, and the actual mayor for me up the mountain a bit, had both been amalgamated as one by central government in an effort to save money, improve efficiency, and slightly reduce numbers uh, of civil servants and administrative burden in themselves. But as far as I can see, there's been no clear plan about what to do with all the mayor's offices. The big fancy mayor's office on the hill just does children, children's school dinners now. So now one mayor has more staff and works out of a porter cabin while his uh, old antique type offices are being renovated. And the other mayor has the same large office and is only responsible for children's school dinners. This time I'd been sent a letter saying, your gutter's falling down, it's a danger to people, um, secure that danger. I went into the, what in larger towns is called the Hotel de Ville, I think, some, Le Marie, and made an appointment with what in Britain's called the Clarker Works, or used to be called the Clarker Works. I returned some time later to keep that appointment with the man. He was old and probably quite cantankerous, but he was on his best behaviour and quite cheerful and welcoming the first time I'd ever met him. The uh, staff, the secretaries, were very helpful. One of them spoke very good English. Um, I'd understood him, what he was trying to say, and he'd understood me, but he wanted the translator and secretary there. Not her official job at all. So the old fella gave me all the paperwork and... Uh, gave me the certificate, I think it is. Basically, I had permission to close the road outside my house. I'd asked for six weeks, I was given one. There was a look on his face like, I've given you an impossible task. They were even helpful printing out a couple of photocopies for me. My French was improving a little bit, certainly compared to my first uh, Marie visit. With two tall properties, um, it was perfectly sensible to do an IPAF course some of the time while I was in... Britain. This is working at height in a cherry picker. So I'm certificated for Europe, or was before Brexit, don't know what's going to happen to that. But cherry pickers are so expensive to hire and the, and the scaffold, temporary scaffold tower is so familiar. Just not particularly familiar with putting up nine metres height of it and working at, with my feet at nine metres above the ground. Assemble the temporary scaffold, do the task and disassemble the temporary scaffold. Task being new swan neck gutter downpipe, which took about a third of the time. The scaffold, two thirds of the time. At one point, it really didn't look like I was going to be finishing early, but I got charged more for returning the tower scaffold early. A number of days compared to a week's charge, a week was cheaper. But the guys in the office liked me. Did me a favour on the price. I 
I complied with the Marie Clerk of Works instructions. All paperwork was displayed. Nice little plastic weathering closed vouchers. Polly pockets on my salvaged pedestrian barriers. So 12 metres of road because of safety margin. Blocked off two neighbours driving to the house. Rustic neighbour had no problem with this. He could go round the back. He's got a little back track. But someone had visited and called the immediate neighbour. Who and how? Oh, I'll cut that part of the story short. It's such a headache that the uh, defunct Marie's wife, Mayor's wife, uh, is like a bit like his counsellor or something. Counsellor in terms of she listens to him. She actually drives by quite a lot down a one-way street, keeping an eye on things. My things. The defunct mayor's wife had sent round the defunct mayor to interfere with my progress, is what you might say at best. Or absolute sabotage. The Chanteur's municipal police woman had moved on to bigger and better things, um, and she'd been replaced with a timid, nice but dim type guy. He turned up with the uh, mayor, defunct mayor, uh, who is sort of was probably quite handsome once upon a time, and still tries to maintain that. It's very important to his um, electoral process, perhaps. I couldn't say that he'd done Botox or fillers, but he definitely had a moisturising routine. And the pair of just started talking absolute nonsense. They quite quickly recruited a couple of uh, street sweepers type people. Or Two blokes that were supposed to be a bit threatening, like a bit of muscle. That four of them had come in numbers, designed to intimidate. They were asking me to come down from on high, where I was just set up, ready to start. Two manual municipal men did join in the calling up at one point, but with a clumsy voice, le muscleation and hand gestures that brought my own fists round towards my own face. You are here to do that to me. They soon uh, shut up. Le mari defunct and the nice but dim police man did eventually depart. Um, in departing they went past the um, big fellow with the bar in his garage. What do you think of him? Is he always like this? They're saying to him. No, we get him all right. He says hello when he pass in. That's quite enough. Quiet. Didn't quite fit this occasion. And they had a little chat and they recruited his drone flying skills to, at a later date, have a look inside my property, flying through one of the voids, just to keep an eye on what's going on inside. The mayor coerces illegal trespass. I don't think I can say <laughs> publishedly the F words that I was shouting to the policeman and the F-words that I was shouting to the village mayor. It's not big and it's not clever. Don't try this at home, kids. We must wait and see how their powers can frustrate me out of existence in subsequent years. Instead of Brexit, governments could have just frustrated immigration. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. So we've got the opposite of when to become one, it's four versus one. I know you shouldn't, but I climb up the outside ladder, of, on the outside of the outside ladder of the tower scaffold, because I find the platforms that flappy bit, it's going to trap my fingers, it's like risking a big accident for sake of almost guaranteed smaller accident. So I'm shuttling up and down the outside ladder and they're sort of coming to commenting to themselves that oh you're supposed to do it like that. <laughs> Looks a bit dangerous. But all the while they're shouting to me to come down and distracting me. They need me to come down and talk to them about some document, perhaps the actual wording, but you can tell just by the way they're talking, it's absolute nonsense. It's a fiction. I own that bit of public road for that week. No one need or is allowed to go through, but they are so repetitively insistent that I must let the nearest neighbour through whenever he wants to go by, or whenever anyone wants to go by. I'm asking them to please go away. I'm asking them to please go away. My French is improving, and the more 
passionate that I was getting with their dangerous distractions, the better my brain synapses were working. The better my brain synapses were working. Dangereux. Vous êtes dangereux. Isn't the most adventurous uh, vocabulary, but... Allez! Le facon dans le bas. There is no problem, you can take the little road round the back, as I didn't know that it actually belonged to the rustic neighbour. They settled into that they were just burning daylight for me until the storm arrived the next day. But in confession, I did know that the Marie wasn't important to me. He was defunct, but I can completely justify swearing at him repeatedly in English, swearing to the policeman in English pointing out that his wife comes round and uh, does a drive-by of me in French much too often. Doing Italian hand gestures of the flat of your hand against the end of your fist. Um, it's a butt-slapping gesture. Which has been clearly understood that I'm saying that he's doing that type of... Uh, sexual behaviour to me from the top of my ladder. I've also taken up um, bottles of wee that I'm um, saying to him that I will pour this down on him. But they did stay their side of the barriers. To their small credit, I suppose. It was just dangerous harassment. They did obey the law. A beautiful sunny day, I got the tower scaffold erect. I was just taking my tools up and the, some of the materials up, fixing the clips to the rafters, the end of the rafters. How to run the string line from one end of the six metres of roof to eaves to the other end. Uh, yeah, not so easy. You can run up and down the tower scaffold, but you have to drag it from one end to the other and adjust the stabilisers because the road is actually on a serious slope. The projection of alpine eaves of 1.5 metres past the wall causes additional problems there. You're right in the middle of nowhere it feels like. And the swan neck, measuring for the, sw for the swan neck from the gutter to the downpipe. I've brought all the bits to suit the lengths of pipe that I'd uh, acquired. Reused, recycled. Dry assembly is all very well but it fell. The two brackets, not the two brackets, the two shoes to join the pipes together fell. They were the only ones that I had. A particular colour I don't have in Weldom. That's the name of the Bricko, the local Bricko. Nowhere could I get the right diameter, black, right angle, the correct angle. So they're grey. Black gutter with two grey bits. It looks so DIY. It's heartbreaking to feel it slip and watch in slow motion. It was, it falls down and the plastic smashes on the cold ground. And then as you try and catch it, the other end falls off and that smashes on the ground. It did cross my mind to try and glue all the pieces together, but it was smithereens. Smithereens, I tell you. But hey, I'm in one piece. I made these nice twiddly wooden brackets to space off the downpipe from the wall in anticipation of a future render and insulation system with a little channel behind to neatly tuck away the armoured cable for some light. The downpipes are slightly undersized for regs, but, to converse, but the uh, oversized uh, gutter and the traditional brackets without fascia type brackets, screw T shape, should help with some attenuation. Water attenuation. Water attenuation is where you try and slow everything down so everything doesn't come up, out down river. There's a great flood when uh, you get a thaw, though it is usually an underground tank or oversized pipes. I overlapped with the old gutter and didn't go past the last fixing. There's like a metre of my gutter that's got the old gutter that joins directly onto the immediate neighbours. Why do I want to have some interference of, oh, that's my property line. I chickened out. I didn't want the confrontation. But I got one anyway, by proxy. The rustic neighbour had taken the role of totally reasonable. He had been called back for lunchtime. 
He does sometimes call him back next times. He was the fourth muscle of the defunct cock mare peacock. And the culprit first caller that they responded to, as it turned out in the end. Rustic fellow does have a lot of friends that visit. So my next visitor might have been visiting him anyway. But I think he got a call, like a special request. So in a big uh, 4x4 pickup truck, this older guy turns up at one of my gates when I just happened to be on the ground. No, sorry, I lie. I had to come down because he started moving my barriers. I had needed to come down anyway to get some screws or something. He started. He looks like an old farmer and he's trying to move my barriers and trespass on my land. Get off my land, I said to him in um, good viz comic fashion. I don't think he got the reference. On the ground, I was stood three metres away from him, increasingly, and then shouting, arguing with him, holding on to the barrier so he couldn't move it. I keep my sentences simple, like, non, usez le petit bacon, le derrière, là-bas. But he would have his way and he wouldn't be challenged. It was his right to disobey the law, granted on me by... Le Marie Clark of Works. He was getting frustrated, the old farmer. He went to the back seat and pulled out a shooting rifle wrapped in a, ca- in a uh, fabric case. He unzipped it and started pulling the butt of the rifle all the way down past the trigger, out from the sheath. Anticipating where this might lead, I preempted and started stabbing at my forehead with my finger passionately and converting to English, which was basically uh, shouting slightly manically, um, right there if you're going to, right there, don't mess about it. I'll try and recreate that a little bit better for you. Right there if you're going to, right there. Stabbing at myself in the forehead with my finger. Quite conscious that I think legally if you say, come on, if you're going to, that's you legally consenting to being shot in the head between the eyes. Someone in the comments might be able to put me straight on that, I might be wrong. The farmer veiled his threat and um, went away again. Needless to say, the gendarmerie in the big town down the road had no interest in me reporting what I can be fairly sure would be a crime, drawing a gun on someone. Hey ho, hunters are dangerous, at least I could see the danger in front of me, rather than being camouflaged in the woods somewhere while I'm mountain biking. Two manual municipal men did join in the calling up at one point, but with a clumsy voice le musculation and hand gestures that brought my own fists round towards my own face. You are here to do that to me. They soon uh, shut up. Le mari defunct and the nice but dim police man did eventually depart. Um, in departing, they went past the um, big fellow with the bar in his garage. What do you think of him? Is he always like this? They're saying to him. No, we get him all right. He says hello when he pass in. It's quite enough. Quiet. Didn't quite fit this occasion. And they had a little chat and they recruited his drone flying skills to, at a later date, have a look inside my property, flying through one of the voids, just to keep an eye on what's going on inside. The mayor coerces illegal trespass. I don't think I can say <laughs> publishedly the F words that I was shouting to the policeman and the F words that I was shouting to the village mayor. It's not big and it's not clever. Don't try this at home, kids. We must wait and see how their powers can frustrate me out of existence in subsequent years. Instead of Brexit, governments could have just frustrated immigration. Oh, don't get me started.